Welcome to the module, Making Outbound Calls to Customer of the Course Customer Care Executive. Today we shall learn about the different types of probing skills to obtain information from customers and the etiquettes to follow while on a call. Let's begin. After the end of this module, you will be able to explain the open and closed probing techniques. Identify the do's and don'ts to follow while on a call. The success of a team in closing a sales call largely depends on certain interpersonal skills of an individual that generates a positive team spirit and also characterizes a good team player. Some of those skills include Ability to listen Paying respect Providing help Sharing information and Active participation To obtain information from customers, questions need to be asked. Whenever you make requests for information, you're using the skill of probing, which usually takes the form of asking questions. There are generally two types of probes, open probes, and closed probes. Open probes generally begin with what, how, why, tell me, or show me and such probes limit the customer's response to a few alternatives. Whereas, closed probes generally begin with do, are, is, and which and can be answered by yes or no or a choice among limited alternatives. Note that, open probes are used in the beginning of a conversation to gain information and when you want to expand on something, especially if a new topic has been brought up. Let us now take a look at some tips to effectively carry out the probing techniques. Make an appointment to prospect. Make as many calls as possible targeting the right customers. Vary your call times and make them brief. Be prepared with a list of names before you call. Work without interruption. Consider prospecting during off-peak hours when conventional prospecting times don't work. And most importantly, be organized. Let us now look at the list of do's and don'ts to remember while on a call. Do's. Keep the mic a few inches away from your mouth. Have a notebook and pen ready to take down information. Smile and be confident and speak clearly. Use please and thank you. Use simple language and refrain from using jargon. Listen to the unspoken words of the customer. Pay attention to the customer. Don'ts. Do not eat or chew food when on a call. Avoid use of jargons, slangs, and technical words. We have reached the end of this course. Hope you have enjoyed your session. We shall learn more about upselling and cross-selling techniques while making outbound calls to customers in the later courses.